guys, this is Mark here from PixelFiendTech.com and recently we saw Apple take to stage for their annual WWDC keynote. We saw the launch of their new iOS operating system, iOS 8. Now while there was less changes to iOS 8 than there was in iOS 7, there were still some really nice features so I thought I'd put together a list of the top 5 features, in my opinion, of iOS 8. First up, we have interactive notifications. Now, I really, really love this feature. I wish everyone used it. I know you can get some similar things on Android, but the way Apple have integrated it, I really do like that. Now, before, if you were having a text conversation, you'd have to switch between the app you're using and the messaging app, which could get quite annoying if you're trying to do something. Now, you simply swipe down the notification and it gives you a little reply box and you simply type it in without having to leave the app you're in. Now this also works for example if you are tagged in a Facebook post it will um, give you the option to like or comment on that post and I assume that it may work with other apps like things like Twitter where you may be able to reply, favourite and retweet and possibly even with other apps. I really hope to see some nice new stuff integrated with that feature and I can't wait to use it. The next feature I'm going to speak about is the keyboard in general. Now there were two changes. First is their quick type feature which is fairly basic. It adds some clever predictive text that looks like it could be a bit better than what Android uses as it learns not only how you speak but how you speak to different people. Next up we learned about third party keyboards. Now if Apple can manage the people who allow third party keyboards this could be brilliant as long as we are keeping the same high quality keyboards. Personally, I love some of the separate keyboards that are available on Android and I can't wait to try those out on iOS. Next up we have the photo and camera features. So not only did they add a few new features to the camera app like time lapse, which I can't wait to try out again, they also added some photo editing features. Now not only can you edit in the camera app more or the photos app, um, kind of more in depth but they also opened it up so um, camera app makers like camera plus and things like that you can now change more exposure settings things like white balance and you can change the highlights and shadows and things like that exactly which is a feature I really really wanted to see in iPhones for the past while. After that at number four on the list we have favorite contacts in the multitasking area so at the moment in ios 7 when you double tap the home button you see the list of your recent apps that are currently open in your multitasking menu and now in ios 8 you also will have a list of things that look similar to the chat heads in facebook just simple circles of your favorite faces of the people you contact most of often and you will be able to click on those faces and go right into your messaging so I just really think that's a handy feature to access the people that you speak to the most. Last but not least we have number five on the list which is the notification center so not only have we seen a bit of a revamp um, with some of the tabs cut out now I believe it's only your missed notifications and the today tab which is nice but we also have added some interactive widgets. Now this will be things like eBay and ESPN like they showed us so you'll be able to get things like score updates, you'll be able to bid on items just through these widgets. Now I think this is the um, right way for Apple to go about widgets. I just think if they put them on the home screen it might kind of ruin the kind of smooth flow of the iOS operating system and I think the minimalistic way that they have added it to the notification center really complements the operating system. Now there have been tons of features announced for iOS 8 now let me know down in the comments what your favorite features are as those were just my personal top five. If you enjoyed this video please give it a like share and why not subscribe to my channel for more content. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments section below or email me at the address in the description. Thank you very much for watching. See ya.